Hey, kids! Ah. Oh, ah, that hurt! Sorry, Carl. Ah. It's me again, Time Traveling Thomas. And it's me, Carl. Sorry, Carl, didn't oh. mean to hit you. I think you <laughs> broke my nose. Oh, it'll, it'll get better. Okay. <laughs> so, so I've got a question for you all. Does anyone know? We've been talking about the, the book of Genesis. Does anyone know what the word Genesis means? Hmm. Genesis. What does it mean? Hmm. Like, do any of you know what it means? No. I, I can't hear you. Your, your microphones must not be working. I I'll just go ahead and tell you. They don't know. Maybe they don't. Uh, but the word Genesis means the beginning. Ooh. The beginning. The beginning of what? Did you know the Bible begins with the beginning? Well, that makes sense. <laughs> <laughs> and, and, and I don't know about you, but would you like to go back to the beginning? Well, wait. What's at the beginning? So I'm talking like before there were cars, before there were iPads, before there was even McDonald's. No, I don't want to go there if there's no <laughs> McDonald's. Trust me. It's an exciting time. Well, wait. I have a question. If it's the beginning, like the very beginning, before there was anything, how could there be nothing? And how could we go back to nothingness? There had to be something in the beginning. Well, maybe not something, but someone. Ooh. I don't know about you, but I'm excited to go back and meet this someone. Oh, wow. But first things first. We gotta get our helmets on and fire up this time machine. Let's do it! Woo! Bum bum bum, bum bum bum, fire up the time machine. Fire up the time machine. Go go, Thomas! Fire up that time machine. You ready? Let's do it! Hey kids, welcome back to the past, back to the beginning of everything. <laughs> Today, we're going to read our first verse, the first verse in the Bible. Yes, I'll read it first and then you repeat after me, okay? Alright, here we go. In the beginning... Oh no, let me hear you guys say it real loud. Are you ready? Here we go. In the beginning. Hello, ye. You guys can do better than that. Hello, ye. That was good. Does anybody know what Elohim means? Anybody? Okay, well I'm just gonna ignore you. Elohim means mighty God. <laughs> mighty God. Could you guys say mighty God? Very nice. The Bible begins and ends with mighty God. Do you know what worship means? I'll tell you. Worship means that God goes first in our lives. In the beginning, the very first thing that we see is mighty. God. It is important that we put God first in our lives. That's how we worship God. Here's our declaration today. I want you to say it after me. 
in the beginning was Mighty God. Let's do it again. In the beginning was Mighty God. Very nice. <laughs>